Hi guys, welcome to Shaq's World, my name is Shaq. Today we'll talk about the 2020 Honda CBR 1000 RR-R, the old 2017 Honda CBR 1000 RR was a fantastic motorcycle. The motorcycle was very comfortable, it had a very nice flickable chassis, it felt like a 600 but it was a 1000cc motorcycle. The gearbox was butter smooth, the build quality of that motorcycle was fantastic. It was the lightest 1000cc motorcycle out of all the 1000cc Japanese bikes. The bike had some issues. The electronics was lacking compared to other 1000cc motorcycles. The quick shifter from first to second gear, you will get a false neutral. The people that didn't ride the motorcycle said the bike was lacking in power because you only had 189 horsepower, not 200 horsepower like the other 1000cc motorcycles. I had a 2017 Honda CBR 1000 RR and I can definitely tell you guys that motorcycle was not lacking in any power. The only thing I didn't like about my 2017 Honda CBR 1000 RR was the lack of character. The motorcycle didn't have any character in whatsoever. Because of those issues, the 2017 Honda CBR 1000 RR sales was declining. Honda's response was, we built this motorcycle for the road. If we give this motorcycle more power, it's going to ruin the chassis. Honda was not happy with the negative feedbacks they got and the decline sales. They went back to work and built a over 200 horsepower motorcycle. That is 2020 Honda CBR 1000 RR-R. The inline four cylinder engine produces 214 horsepower and 113 new meters of torque. The motorcycle revs up to 14,500 RPM. The bike will be controlled by 6 axis IMU. It will have 9 stage traction control, 3 stage wheeling control, Brembo brakes front and rear. It will have an electronic suspension that will be gas charged. Same suspension as a Yamaha R1M. They also put winglets to increase the downforce under hard acceleration and improve the braking stability. It will come with version 3 Super Corsa SP tires, 255 rear. This motorcycle will be a very uncomfortable street bike because the seat is 10 mil taller and the handlebars is 17 mil shorter. The bike will weigh 201 kilograms wet. The price is close to $50,000. In my opinion, if I had that much money to spend, I would rather buy a Yamaha R1M because you get carbon fiber fairings, you get a cross plane engine that sounds a lot nicer than the Honda. You get the same suspension as the Honda and you're saving $16,000 by buying the Yamaha R1M. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Guys, please smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos. Or you can follow me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.